I started racing internationals, people in the locality said I was mad. No one in England will ever win an international, and I always believed that they would. It's so much harder where we live. We live in the west of the country. Dover is 170 miles east of us. They have a short channel crossing. We, for my birds to come straight, they have 120 miles of water to fly. On the shorter ones, if they make the shorter crossing, they have 60 miles. They have to fly 400 miles, meet the channel, and then cross. It is so difficult. This map perfectly shows the route which our pigeons have to take from the international races. Both Farm Ivy and Farm Evie, when they won from St Vincent International, had to take this route across the Bay of Biscay and then a 200 kilometre flight across the English Channel. 95% of the birds are going to Germany, Holland and Belgium. Just a few have to come this side to the UK. A very, very hard fly for them. People may ask, how do we know that the birds took this direct route? To win an international, the birds cannot do anything other than fly straight. They have to fly straight from the liberation to their home loft. Otherwise, they would not be winners. Tired pigeon find it very hard. They have to be exceptional. We need a pigeon that can break away, fly on its own, leave the flock right from the word go. They are few and far between, but I always believed it could be done. The selection has to be very severe for me. The birds have to fly solo. They have to fly 600k on land on their own. There's no other competition in this area or very little competition. They have to meet the English Channel where there's no thermal lift over the ocean. They have not got a flock to fly with to race against, so I need very, very special pigeons. I've been lucky enough with the selection to produce three international winners. Farmer George winning Bordeaux by 47 minutes, 22,000 plus pigeons. Wollongong, first international pole, winning by 32 minutes. And Ivy, first hen, third international St Vincent. Very, very fortunate. And dreams more than I could ever believe would happen. <laughs>